What's up guys? It's going to be a quick uh, protein powder review here today on Muscle Milk's Lean Muscle Protein Powder and this is the uh, chocolate flavor as you guys can see right here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. Cyto Sports Nutritional Facts For one scoop you got 150 calories, 50 calories from fat, 6 grams of total fat, 2 that saturated, 1 gram of polyunsaturated, and 3 grams of monounsaturated, so some healthy fats there. Only 10 milligrams cholesterol, very low sodium, only 80 milligrams, that's actually extremely, extremely low I think. 300 milligrams potassium, a little bit of carbohydrates, uh, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein, and then you got a nice... Uh, vitamin and mineral blend right there it's pretty much about 15% to all those vitamins right there and if you want the two scoops it's pretty much all the stuff here at the right so obviously you just kind of double everything up so if you use one scoop of this it's gonna last 25 times 25 serving 25 servings if you use if you use one scoop ingredients protein blend is calcium sodium casein and then next you have milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate, and then whey protein hydrolysate, and whey protein concentrate, and all this other stuff right here. Uh, so the main protein source is uh, casein protein, which digests slow, and you know it feeds your muscles pretty much throughout the night. If you take it at night, you know, like it'll just feed it later on the day, compared to as whey protein isolate, which will immediately, you know, start you know immediately feed your muscles pretty much so they can start the recovery process and whatnot um, here's the highlights right here right there you guys can see right there for one scoop and two scoops so it just kinda gives you the main stuff right there directions of use just right there uh, and then the amino acids this is how much comes in two scoops so you have your BCA's right there on the top and you got the L-glutamine right there and this is just telling you about the blend precision protein blend just talking about all this stuff right here you know like about their ingredients alright so that's pretty much it for the container looks pretty nice this is actually kinda like the older version they now came out with a new a newer product and I'm not sure if it tastes the same or anything like that I have not tried it it's the one with a red has a red lid instead of a black lid this is like I said the older one um, but yeah let's go ahead and go go on to the taste I have it have a uh, two scoops of protein powder inside here um, I put about maybe two ounces of milk or maybe even an ounce and a half or something like that so not too much milk and the rest was all water so of uh, 16 ounces total so it's about 14 ounces water two ounces of milk and two scoops of this protein right here so you know it's pretty filled up right now so let's go ahead and open this cap now I like my I like my protein shakes like very cold like I can't drink them like if they're like even a little bit warm they're just right there so I had it in the freezer for a bit looks like it kinda calmed down now uh, usually this protein guys is very foamy that's the, that's that casein protein it's very thick milkshake like as you guys can see right there you can see the foam action right there going on so I'm going to go ahead and try it out see how it tastes Hmm. All right, so I mean, it doesn't taste bad, you know. Like it's it's pretty drinkable. Hmm. That, that's how it looks like right there. Hmm. So the foam it, it'll go away if you just kind of let it settle, like shake it for a bit, and then just leave it alone for like maybe two minutes or something like that, and the bubbles will start going down. Like right now, it was a lot more bubbly, more foamy, and I just kind of like let it settle down, and then. As you can see now, it's kind of flat. Hmm. I mean, as you can see, it's chocolatey, but I mean, I wouldn't say it has like a milkshake, milkshake-like flavor. But I mean, maybe like a yeah, pretty much like a healthy, nah, not even like a healthy milkshake or you know something like that. The chocolate isn't like you know super strong. Let me go ahead and try it again here. It's kind of like a. I don't know. Kind of like an artificial chocolate. I don't, I don't think it tastes too natural like. It's not bad though. It's not bad. Um, go ahead and shake this up a little bit more. Ugh. 
so right now when I'm shaking it up, pretty much it gets all bubbly again. Okay. That's pretty normal though. So see, I'll just, I'll just take more sips after after that. But for the for the taste, guys, uh, I want to say I'll probably give it like a, I don't know, maybe like a, you know, it's a protein powder. And you know what? It's very drinkable. So let's go ahead and just give it an 8 out of 10, guys. So 8 out of 10. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, it doesn't taste like Nesquik or anything like that or like a really good chocolate milk. It tastes like a diet, maybe like a diet chocolate milk type of flavor. The flavor isn't super strong either. It's not too overpowering. It's not, it's especially not too sweet. You would think with all these fats and stuff, it would be like extremely sweet or anything like that. But I mean, like I said, look at the sugar there. It's not even that much sugar in it. But a lot of people say muscle milk is pretty much the best tasting protein powder um because it's it has a good blend and it has some fat and sugar carbohydrates and whatnot um let me take another sip here yeah i mean it's drinkable and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a, give it an 8 out of 10 guys it's not super amazing but it's, it's drinkable it doesn't taste nasty or anything like that maybe like a little nah not even really an aftertaste or anything like that so It'll go down smooth if it's flat and not bubbly. Shouldn't be that bad at all. Uh, mixability looked like it was decent. Um, what else? Yeah, you know, that's kind of about it, guys. So for the taste, I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 for the taste. Mixability, I'll give that a 9 out of 10. As for the value, this tub right here costed $20, so 20 bucks. And it's 25 servings. If you use one scoop, you use two scoops, obviously, it'll be like 12 and a half. So... You know, not too bad. The flavor, like I said, it's drinkable. It's not bad at all. So overall, I think it's a good value. It doesn't have super high protein unless you take two scoops, but then you're, you're going to be drinking a lot of calories right there, 310. So this is not like the healthiest protein, but the flavor is, is decent. And the product isn't, you know, super overpriced or anything like that. So for me, would I buy it again? Well, I want to try a different protein. So for right now, probably not. Um... But who knows? Maybe if I if I try the proteins and they suck and taste like shit, then I'll probably get I'll probably go back to this, you know. Um, but yeah, that's all I really gotta say, guys. I use this as a post workout. So when I'm done with my work, when I'm done with my workout, or I'm still working out, you know, I'll take sips here and there, and then obviously when I'm really done with my workout, I'll sit down or whatever, and then I'll I'll drink the whole thing and whatnot. So you know, gotta get that protein to you know feel your muscles and you know get it ready for recovering. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this like I said, eight out of ten, and yeah. That's going to be it for this review. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are a new viewer, subscribe. Uh, I'll be doing more protein supplement reviews like protein bars, uh, protein bars which I really like. Um, maybe other protein powders. I got, I got more muscle milk flavors that I haven't reviewed yet. And uh, other type of products. So just stay tuned, subscribe. And yeah, that's going to be it guys. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.